in fact. Speaking in Nairobi earlier today, KMA officials warned that the country's testing capacity was too low to inform such a move and asked the Ministry of Health to ramp up testing for COVID-19 before learners can return to the classroom. Teachers were last week ordered back to work in anticipation of the reopening of schools expected soon. They also faulted the recent political gatherings that have been held in violation of COVID-19 protocols. We, we did mass testings in Kawangware in Isli. Then it moved to targeted testing of hoteliers and uh, uh, patients who are presenting the institutions. Now it has gone to, uh, we are testing only the symptomatic uh, patients who are presenting to our facilities and that's the data that is being provided. So when I say there's no adequate testing is uh, Kenya has a population of 50 million Kenyans. Uh, if you look at the data that you have been given, the tests you have done so far, is actually a fraction. It, uh, it doesn't even make 1% of the population of this country. And that's why we encourage that uh, we, we need to do screening, which we have antibody screenings in the market. And even as we go back to schools, uh, we see how we can be able uh, to screen these patients, uh, uh, the teachers, uh, we test them before they go to the classes so that they don't transmit the kids. So the issue of testing is a problem in this country. Nchi ilifungwa ili wanadau wote waweze kuweka mikakati ambayo itasaidia kufungua uchumi tena. Mashule pia yalifungwa ili kwa wakati huo watoto wasiambukizane. Na shule zenyewe zilihitajika kuweka mikakati ya kurudi shule. Sasa kujibu swali lako ni kuwa ni vizuri kuangalia kama kuna shule ambazo zimeweka mikakati na ninajua kuna shule ambazo zimeweka mikakati kwa kuangalia kama uh, wameongeza deski katika shule. More than 40 